Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. HAPS Mobile receives high altitude authorization for Hawk 30. The UK Coast Guard is planning rescue trials with drones. And Oneida County, New York introduces a public safety drone unit. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. HAPS Mobile received a certificate of authorization from the FAA to fly Hawk 30, a solar powered unmanned aircraft. Assembled back in April, the aircraft will provide a stratospheric telecommunications platform system above the Hawaiian island of Lanai. As part of collaborative activities with Pan Pacific UAS Test Range Complex, HAPS Mobile has been working with the University of Alaska Fairbanks and the University of Hawaii to conduct stratospheric test flights. The three parties will prepare to test flights at Lanai in 2019 and conducting safety verifications while coordinating with the island authorities and respecting business-related legislation and regulations. They also plan to hold sessions for community residents to discuss safety considerations and promote understanding of the vision to utilize HAPS in the future. While continuing to collaborate with the universities, HAPS Mobile will continue to move its HAPS business forward by leveraging test flights at Lanai and other activities. In the next Unmanned Minute, we'll take a quick look at a few stories making rounds with the unmanned vehicle communities. SimActive's Correlator 3D is being used in Japan for mapping projects acquired by the DJI Phantom 4 RTK. A full-scale validation was done in the mountains near Hiroshima, with a unit flown by SimActive Japanese partner Mirakuru and customer Ace One. Atlas has partnered with the military police of Rio de Janeiro State to leverage the Atlas Pro as part of the PMERJ's overall security efforts for the Copa America Soccer Tournament. This is the first time mesh multi-drone UAS technology has been approved for usage to secure a major sporting event. The Atlas Pro was flown along the perimeter of the Maracana Stadium, one of the largest stadiums in South America. The San Pablo Police Department announced a partnership with Impossible Aerospace in deploying a comprehensive public safety program. The Impossible US-1 boasts an extended flight time in excess of one hour per flight. The SPPD said in a news release posted on Facebook, they believe this increased operational efficiency will greatly impact public safety in San Pablo, as officers can respond to specific priority incidents quickly without worrying about the restriction of battery life. The second in a series of statewide regional public safety UAS workshops was held last week at Patrick Henry Airport. The Virginia Unmanned Systems Center at CIT in conjunction with the Virginia Department of Public Safety and Homeland Security are holding regional workshops across the state to ensure public safety professionals are aware of the new innovations, regulations, and opportunities surrounding unmanned systems. Now back to the rest of the news. The UK's Maritime and Coast Guard agencies is soliciting proposals from drone operators for a demonstration program to aid SAR in ship surveillance missions off the southwest coast of England. The MCA published a request for proposals for a contract valued at about $1.2 million. The solicitation indicates UAVs could help cut SAR and other costs while making them more efficient. It also indicates the UK's rules concerning beyond visual line of sight operation would have to be eased or waived for the purpose of the demonstration. To be considered, applicants will have to provide details about their ability to search for missing persons or vessels up to 6.2 miles offshore and reduced visibility in high winds. The drones would transmit information gathered to manned aircraft to carry out the rescues. The drones could also be used to track the amount of pollution being leaked into the water by ships and support law enforcement agencies that conduct aerial tracking missions over the English Channel. The drone missions would initially be conducted with human operators, but with the eventual goal of autonomous operation. Oneida County Sheriff Robert Maciel and members of the Sheriff's Office along with Oneida County Executive Anthony J. Picante and Oneida County Aviation Commissioner Chad Lawrence announced the formation of a new drone unit within the Oneida County Sheriff's Office. 
The sheriff's office will be able to use this new resource to protect the lives and property of citizens and first responders, as well as being able to detect possible dangers not otherwise seen from the ground. The sheriff's UAS unit can support any first responder in many types of hazardous incidents that would benefit from an aerial perspective. Additionally, the UAS would have suitable uses in assisting incident commanders with decision making, locating missing persons, clearing buildings that may be too dangerous for personnel to enter, and accident scene reconstruction. The UAS unit will be available to respond 24 hours a day. There is currently five members of the sheriff's office in this unit. Each is fully trained and has FAA certifications for their remote pilot license. And that's all for us today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more information on all things unmanned, head on over to aubsi.org or airborne-unmanned.net. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you right back here tomorrow for an episode of Airborne Unlimited.